guys, welcome back to Deep South Bayou Diesel. Um, whew, it's been a hell of a morning. Uh, I went ahead and uh, I haven't been to sleep yet since I made my last video. Um, it's supposed to be like a 73% chance of rain in the afternoon, which is when I was going to get started on this. And I just said, you know what, screw it, let me get on out here, get this taken care of. I can take a nap or something. Um, here's one of the caps from one of these, another one, and another one. So at least three of the caps, and these are, uh, two of these are from one, and one of the, uh, actually these two are from one, it's actually from this one. And this one came off of one of these, I just don't remember which, but, um, yeah, these are are definitely toast. The um, carrier bearing was toast. I got all that put on. Uh, it was a major pain. Let me get in here. Um, we're actually gonna go on a short drive. I mean, I don't have a whole lot of diesel, as you can see, so. Um, I can't, you know, go on a long adventurous ride, but I can go on a ride long enough to see if the, um, there was a, whoa, what was that? It's like I ran over something, but I moved everything. That was weird. Oh, oh, I forgot to move that 4x4. Four uh oh <laughs> oh well it's not gonna hurt anything but yeah anyway um the when i get up to highway speeds you know starting at about 40 45 this mirror over here would have a spaztastic um session you know and that's that wasn't good you know because i couldn't properly see what was uh in my side view mirror you know it would be shaking so violently so um you know it just got to the point to where you know i thought you know hey you know look this is my family's vehicle that's unsafe you know um these mirrors don't say it but i'm sure you guys are old enough to remember the cars that had uh objects and mirror closer than they appear you know like i said these mirrors these are aftermarket mirrors and they don't say that but um you know i'm i'm pushing 40 so i'm old enough to remember um i'm old enough to remember those cars that had you know objects and mirror closer than they appear or of course if you guys remember watching uh, ace ventura when he said assholes in mirror are closer than they appear oh good times but, yeah, I'm hoping that when I get off this um, gravel, I mean, of course, it doesn't matter what kind of vehicle you're in. You know, gravel's going to make anything shake violently. It may look smooth. And for the most part, it is smooth if, if it's graded properly. Uh, which, so far, we've got a new uh, county grader who's been a phenomenal guy. You know, he's done a phenomenal job. Um, the other guy, he was a dinosaur. Literally, he was so old, he shouldn't have even been in the machine. But, yeah, we got a new, um, grader, and he's been doing a bang-up job, in my opinion. Because these roads used to have potholes, I mean, it rattle your teeth out, just going down the road, but, yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm just wanting to... Um, get on the highway because you know these roads aren't the best to determine whether you got a really bad vibration or not and then again it could also be two other things that I have not addressed yet on this truck that I will eventually get around to these front tires that are on here uh, were on here uh, when I got the truck so you're talking about uh, you know the ball joints were shot 
the wheel bearings were shot so you're looking at some possible uh, warping uh, and uneven tire uh, tread. I do know I've already replaced both of the um, front brake calipers uh, passenger and driver side because the um, uh, the calipers were shot. I mean the truck stopped but you know it had cracks in the pistons uh, you have dual pistons on these and both of those pistons were cracked and unfortunately you can't just go to AutoZone or O'Reilly or Napa or Advanced or whatnot and buy the uh, pistons because I can actually rebuild brake calipers that's actually a very easy thing to do so you know if they actually still sold the the pistons that went into the brake caliper because it's a piston a uh, piston a boot and a um, I can't remember what it's called it's like I call it a rubber uh, or it's a square o-ring which is weird because how do you have a square and a, and a circle but yeah it's a squared o-ring that fits in there that seals it to keep the uh, brake fluid from coming out some people just call it a seal but it's a squared o-ring it has shoulders so instead of it being rounded like a regular o-ring it's squared but yeah we're almost to the highway here so I'm gonna see uh, is the uh, bad vibration gone or is it still there we're about to find out right now but I never count these roads because these roads uh, that I was just on is horrible. Come on, dude. You ain't the only one that's got places to go and stuff to do. All right. Like some vibration is still there not as bad but it's still there I mean I know I don't know if the camera's picking it up but I'm able to pick it up it's still you know vibrating uh, passenger side isn't passenger side is focused but the driver side is uh, still having a spasm <laughs> an epileptic attack um, or seizure is what I like to call it but yeah um, so the only other thing I can think of now is it could be the rear wheel bearings uh, let me slow down before I pass this um, here but yeah I greased the new um, I greased the new uh, U-joints and I've got the um, the carrier bearing in place and I have it torqued so um, the only other thing I can think of is it's got to be either these uh, front tires um, they, there's probably a warp in them that I can't see or it could be the um, <clears throat> uh, rear wheel bearings because I've replaced the front inner and outer wheel bearings so the only other thing it could be is the rear inner and outer wheel bearings so um, <sighs> I mean like I said it's not as bad I mean before it, it was horrible but it's a lot better now instead of boring the heck out of you guys even further just seeing me drive around my um, my community I may as well just get on off of here as always guys thanks for watching I do have another video coming up um, the
the um, front shock extensions or extenders came in so I am going to check and see if those threads fit and if they do then I will be making another video if not this evening I will be making one tomorrow but as always guys thanks for watching deep south buy you diesel later gators